Hello, Divine Masculine. How's it going? So this is going to be a reading for March 27th until April the 3rd, 2017. What messages do you have for the Divine Masculine Twin Flame? So I'm going to be doing a Celtic Wing. Um, if need be, I will use um, a couple of different decks for clarification, but I try. I want to try to make this as simple as possible. So I'm using the John Holland for the main energy, um, and I'm going to be doing a crystal ball reading with my own cards afterwards. Um, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so beginning present position masculine. Five of Pentacles. Financial and material changes. So there's a sense of needing to release yourself from something in the material world which is causing you to feel unbalanced or like you're losing something. Feeling um, left out in the cold, perhaps. Foundation. Another pentacle. Four pentacles this time. So uh, in your foundation, you're coming in with a firm foundation has been laid. You're grounded. There is... Um, a movement towards your future however there's a sense that you are feeling a financial loss recent past four cups disconnect uh, and boredom feeling like things are not moving um, maybe um, emotionally withdrawing from your divine feminine in order to ground your energy and make choices for the future but there's a disconnect emotionally turning to the dark Focusing on the dark side rather than the light. Hopes and fears. Again with this freaking card. Seven of Swords. Feeling like you're going to be deceived. Like you don't know uh, the whole truth. And if you take that leap of faith, um, are you going to be uh, hurt as a result? So you're questioning um, whether this is a good idea. But if you want to stay in the darkness and uh, focus on, on that, that's your choice. Uh, crossroads position. Nice. Well, apparently you don't. So that's good. Lover's card. Twin flame. Connection. Seeing um, your light in another. Recognizing um, your true love. So this card represents longing, wanting union, not actually getting it. What are you resisting? The High Priestess. Um, the, the Divine um, Twins uh, show up in a reading when, um, like as, as their 5D, um, in order to offer reassurance and comfort when the masculine or feminine are going through a difficult period of time. So you're resisting um, that 5D connection with your feminine is what I'm getting here. And that's what's causing this sense of being deceived, not trusting your truth, not listening to your inner voice. Internal environment. Seven of Wands, finding your strength, standing your ground, speaking up, speaking out, knowing what your true values are, your highest purpose, and expressing that. So currently, internally, you feel strong. You know what your life path is. Um, it's a matter of taking that step forward and um, out of the darkness, out of the cold. External environment. Eight of Swords trapped in fear, masculine energy being represented here. So there's something that is oppressing you, making you feel like you can't move forward. It's a mental prison created by you, but uh, the energy is being um, pushed down on you from an external source. You feel like you can't move, which is why you need to find your power uh, and really take that step forward. Um, the outcome for these three cards, nice. The Divine Feminine got this in her present position. You're moving towards the sun, towards the light. Stepping into your mascul masculine power element, the sun. 
This uh, is the best major arcana. It represents a rebirth, uh, seeing the world through a child's eyes, experiencing abundance, happiness, bliss on every level. Foundation, chariot, an emotional card, um, going after those things that make you happy and uh, taking control of the reins and making it a reality, using your pure will and determination uh, to make it happen. Final outcome, Bay Chakra. Grounding energy is very important for masculine. Um, yeah, so this is a, a seed planted of um, making your dream a reality in the 3D. All right, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Suffering in silence. Um, again, a sense of feeling trapped. We got the Eight of Swords as an external energy. Um, so there's a sense that both the feminine and masculine feel like they're trapped in a mental prison, me mental um, anguish. Um, whereas the masculine isn't looking very hopeful, the feminine is turning towards light, seeing the sun rising on the horizon. It's a nine, which is an ending to feeling this way. Looking up and seeing the sun Okay, so I'm going to move these cards back, and I'm going to do the crystal ball for you. This uh, reading is very reflective of the twin flame, so you might want to check that out. Okay, crystal ball, 5x5 five five grid, distant past, recent past, present, near future, and future. Uh, there's going to be four cards that represent the cornerstone main energies of the reading and then one center card, zero point, which represents the message from the universe. Stop. Whoa. First card is going to be Page of Cups. First cornerstone card, distant past position. So this is communicating your love. It's the beginning of a love, expressing your love. Um, finding your muse. That one that makes you feel creative and inspired and you're, you know, opening your heart chakra. But it's communication of love, first card. Next, eight of wands. Again, communication could represent um, messages through, you know, instant messenger or phone call. But there's a sense of communication of love. This also represents Cupid's arrows. So it could, uh, this energy is coming towards you. So this is just the divine masculine um, reading right now. Okay, his energy only. And if I, uh, if a feminine card directs me in a different way, then for now it's only masculine. This is um, Cupid's arrows coming towards you. It is seeing your highest vision, your destiny, your true purpose, and uh, move, making movement towards that. And this represents that energy coming back towards you. Six of Swords. Feminine got this in her reading. It's finally moving on from negative energy, negative people, negative thoughts into the light. Six of Swords. Or sorry, Six of Wands. Success and victory. Two sixes in a row. Um, this is a spiritual card, wands. It's um, seeing your higher purpose and feeling successful because you've connected with that. Um, you're living um, in the light. And people are proud of you, seeing you as an example. Um, you know, you, you've walked away from out of the darkness into the light and you feel a sense of compliment, accomplishment as a result. Cornerstone card, Knight of Cups. You got the Knight of, or the Page of Cups, and as a cornerstone, the other cor cornerstone card is Knight of Cups. This is movement, offering your love. 
wearing your heart on your sleeve. But again, it's a, a longing, a wanting energy, wanting a relationship, wanting a connection with your divine feminine. Pre or, sorry, near past position, nine of pentacles, um, ripeness. Um, the fruit is ready to be released from the branches. It's um, arrival in the 3D world of where you don't have to worry about money and just enjoy life, walk along a beach. So there's a sense of wanting, you know, having this communication in the past and wanting to make it happen. Uh, and there was a connection and there was a, a sense of grounding and arrival in the 3D. Eight of Pentacles. Got nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Again, Pentacles, Earth energy, 3D world is very important to the masculine. Working hard and making... Um, you know, grounding the energy, feeling safe and secure. Uh, so two eights here, eight and an eight. Working and continuing to working in that energy coming back. Feeling successful. Star card, wish granted. Because you were able to release that negative energy in the past, walk away from the darkness into the light, um, you are receiving the star card, which is... Uh, wish granted, but it also comes after a very difficult period of time and it offers hope So it's a time to heal your heart Take rest in knowing that everything is coming back to you You wished upon a star and that energy is coming back Three of Pentacles grounding energy um, this is that first in, first initial um, Success, feeling of success of illumination and grounding. So the foundation is laid. A queen of swords. Um, so it could represent an air sign, but this is the divine feminine speaking your truth, knowing your truth, being unwavering, being able to see through bullshit. Uh, and it's a movement towards this energy, this truth unwavering so it's because uh, she is standing in her truth and grounded it's allowing this healing to transform the masculine present energy queen of cups uh, very loving intuitive giving open um, divine feminine energy so Heart chakra, wide open, present position, unwavering. Seven of wands, you got this in your internal environment, finding that strength to speak up and speak out, and it's blaring right at the queen of cups, which is telling me that you, you see her as your destiny. She awakens you to your true, higher, authentic self, and it's because of the love that she expresses. Center card, main message from the universe. Wheel of Fortune, massive changes taking place. A completion of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. So Lady Luck is uh, pointing directly at you. It's good fortune and good luck. So massive change is taking place. Two of Swords, indecisiveness. Um, feeling like you can't move forward because there's two choices that you need to make. Both have far-reaching consequences. So this wheel is bringing in this feeling of not knowing which way to, to turn. High Priestess got it in uh, what was re your resisting position. So the High Priestess is the 5D divine feminine with you always follow your heart listen to your inner knowing and that will help you choose which direction to go uh, near future nice temperance card union integration of the souls the twin souls coming together as one this also represents patience 
balance. So it's right below the um, the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, grounded energy, open union. Four of Pentacles, um, sense of being closed off, not allowing anybody into your world. Two pentacles. Um, the wheel of, not the wheel of change, but the wind of change. The only thing that's certain is change. Uh, so a decision is being made in the 3D world, and uh, spirit is asking you to bend, be flexible, and allow this change to happen. So, because it's right beside the four of pentacles, it's like a sense of a release an opening from a close to open and balance and um, movement but going with the flow seven of cups right below the two swords not seeing your way clearly having too many choices and uh, you know thinking that this is just an illusion it's not real but again, Spirit is asking you, go within, listen to your heart. Allow your heart to direct you out of that indecisive state. Wow. High Priest, Divine Masculine in his 5G form. Here you are. Being represented as awake, conscious, connected through your crown chakra to the feminine. Right uh, beside each other, always connected by, you know, 5D. So follow not only your heart, but your intuition, your, your knowing, your higher knowing. All right, final row, cornerstone card, tower. Letting go of those false beliefs, those old identity, ego, letting it all fall. Be the conscious observer behind this destruction because from it uh, will um, come union, integration of the souls. So the old needs to be released before um, you can truly be open to receive a new life. King of Pentacles, Divine Masculine in his 3D. So this is the first time that the Divine Masculine is being shown in the spread mostly it was feminine holding that energy on either side so the masculine can go through his transformation through the the tower and here he arrives this could represent earth sign but um, i'm really seeing it as a masculine um grounding his energy in 3d so from this destruction of the false foundation comes the masculine um abundance um, grounding, um, solid, just happy, giving and receiving, you know, value isn't being placed on the 3D quite as much. You're allowing uh, those um, attachments to fall away. Three Cups, Union, it is um, feeling love for another and celebrating that love true love six of cups somebody coming back from the past reunion somebody who makes you feel like a child innocent pure so this came up in the twin flame reading you find your way to love Final card, cornerstone, five of cups. So um, this came up in the uh, Divine Feminine as well. It is releasing that pain, those emotions. You know, the, t the tower is a significant change um, related to the wheel of fortune. So it's allowing that tower to fall and um, letting go of your attachments, um, letting go of the pain letting go of, uh, you know, your fears and allowing those tears to, to fall so that you can truly open your, yourself up to union. 
So I am going to pull just an Osho card for that last card. That one kind of threw me off a bit. I wasn't expecting that one. But I'm seeing it as, you know, um, you healing your heart from the tower, ultimately. This one. Whoa. Oh, hey, definitely that one. <laughs> All right. And that's a perfect card. That's awesome. Okay, let me read that to you. So again, this is the five for the five of cups there. The veil of illusion or Maya, Maya that has been keeping you from perceiving reality as it is is starting to burn away. The fire is not the heated fire of passion, but the cool flame of awareness. As it burns the veil, the face of a very delicate and childlike Buddha becomes visible. The awareness that is growing in you now is not the result of any conscious doing, nor do you need a struggle to make something happen. Any sense you might have had that you've been groping in the dark is dissolving now or will be dissolving soon. Let yourself settle and remember that deep inside you are just a witness, eternally silent, aware and unchanged. A channel is now opening from the circumference of activity to the center of witnessing. It will help you to become detached and a new awareness will lift the veil from your eyes. Pe beautiful, that's perfect. That's it, that's exactly it. Be the conscious observer, awareness. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Call It Baron Reed, and I shall read that to you from the message from the universe. This one, protected treasures. Well, that makes sense because a lot of pentacles here for the masculine. Oh, wrong book. Sorry. Okay. Protecting treasure. You are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound, no matter the fluctuation in the world. Guardian angels uh, and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds and friendships and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. That's exactly what this reading is saying. That's exactly it. Take that risk. Your um, treasures are protected and you are being divinely guided. So, yes, release yourself from that mental prison there. Okay, I, um, I hope this resonated. Let me know and uh, cheers. Much love to you guys. Peace.